Hi and thanks for watching this video which is going to show how we can implement high resolution graphics using the TMS9918 video display processor VDP. So in D-flat I don't have any commands to actually do high res graphics but it is possible to program the VDP directly. So I've already written a demonstration program called high res and I'll show the code in a short while but it might be first interesting to just show the actual application uh, the actual demo running so if we go so it's clearing down so it set the VDP into high res mode it's clearing down the video memory so that it can start doing the graphics drawing so what it's happening here now is that I'm plotting a dot uh, and then just uh, bouncing that dot around the screen um, and uh, essentially uh, it's just leaving a trail so this is obviously accessing the screen on a bit by bit basis and we have 256 horizontal positions and 192 vertical positions to be able to address and the way that the VDP does this is essentially uh, instead of having one character set of 256 characters uh, each of eight uh, each of which which is eight bytes um, this mode gives three character sets so the screen is actually divided into three sections virtually um, each section points to a different character set and that means we have 256 characters times three which is 768 characters that are addressable and that is uh, therefore makes it possible for us to uh, define every position on the screen with a unique bit combination or, or graphic uh, bitmap combination. Uh, so that's how the VDP does it um, and I'll show you very quickly in code what that looks like. I'll go back into text mode and I'll just display the program. So uh, what you can see here is a subroutine called high res and it does a couple of things, so it turns off the cursor at line 101, we don't want the flashing to interfere with the graphics. It disables the sprites at line 103, and then line 105 through to 140 is uh, the set VDP command essentially sets the VDP register uh, with a particular value. And those values are really, uh, to be honest, I've just taken them straight out of the VDP programming manual, um, I didn't need to... Uh, divert from from the values that they've suggested but basically what it does is uh, sets the uh, graphics uh, bitmap uh, which is essentially the pattern table to zero hex uh, in terms of its start address the the name table which um, is the uh, three sets of um, characters that I need to define the screen with is at uh, 3800 hex um, and then we have the sprite table at 3B00, um, which is why I've got the uh, line 103 poking D0 into that uh, location because it's uh, that basically turns the sprites off. Um, and uh, we've also got the sprite pattern table at 1800, um, and the backdrop color, which is register 7, is just set to white. Um, so it's pretty straightforward to set the values in the VDP and then we have line 145 which is starting uh, which basically is a loop that goes from 0 hex to 17ff and uh, pokes the video memory with 0 uh, so that's just setting my uh, screen bitmap to all 0 so it's an empty screen uh, 160 is the colour table uh, which essentially um, I have just set to a specific colour um, represented by the percent col variable and at 175 so this is the actual um, name table 
uh, at 3800 hex and what I need to do is put the value 0 to, to, to 255, 0 to 255, 0 to 255 three times uh, which is my 768 bytes of name uh, data uh, and the way I've done that is just to simply uh, poke the address uh, into the, uh, the the address as the value to poke into the address uh, location uh, and because an address is only 8 bits essentially I, I, I'm just taking advantage of that to uh, easily poke 0 to FF uh, into the 768 bytes that I need. So that init initializes the high res um, mode. Uh, what I then need to have is a simple routine called plot. So line 300 is a routine which basically plots at X and Y a pixel. And there is a, a bit of a gnarly looking uh, calculation here at 315, which is uh, essentially how to uh, come up with the actual address to poke in the bitmap and you can see that um, well, I'm not going to uh, explain the calculation it, it, sh it should be quite straightforward to read um, and again I just took this straight out of the VDP programmers manual um, line 320 um, so at 315 I've now got the address I want to poke but I now need to decide what is the bit within that address that I need to access and in line 320 the second part of the calculation here uh, the the one with the shift left with, uh, of, of a certain amount based on the X coordinate is is the bit number essentially um, or not even the bit number the actual bit mask uh, but then the uh, the peak is there to retrieve what's already been um, put into the bit uh, the graphics memory, and then I'm essentially oring the two values together. And at 325, I finally, uh, with the calculated address A, I then poke the video memory with V, and that then results in the pixel appearing on the screen, of course. Um, so the calculation looks a bit yucky at 315, but it's really not that bad. Um, you can see it's doing a bit of masking and a bit of shifting, um, and, and that's very easy to do uh, in machine code, of course, uh, and not that bad to do it in D-flat either, actually. Um, so uh, the rest of the, the, the program is just to um, create the little demo, basically. So I'll, I'll start it again, and this time I'll just use a different color. So if I if I this is the color I would let's say if I choose uh, well I use black because it's easier to to see and um, maybe I'll use three as background color which is green uh, if I remember correctly so I'll just do one final more final demo and um, and that'll be that. So. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learnt a little bit more about how to do graphics on the TMS9918 video processor. Uh, thanks for watching.